Hello everyone, my name is Jules. Welcome to Jules Food and Garden. Today, I'll be making my version of curry oxtail. Let's go. These are the ingredients that I'm gonna be using to make my meal today. Ginger, thyme, onion, bell peppers, scallion, garlic, scotch bonnet pepper, butter bean, extra virgin olive oil, coconut powder, curry powder, turmeric, black pepper, jerk seasoning, garlic powder, parsley flakes, seasoned salt, sea salt, pimento seeds, on the oxtail. This is about three pounds of oxtail and um, it's not yet washed. Um, so what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna take off the extra fat off the meat and then um, I'm gonna proceed to wash the oxtail. So this is what I would do. I would, um, like that's called tri trimming. Yeah, so just the extra fat. Some people, you know, uh, don't really remove it, but I rather to remove some of it. You can't remove all of it because then there would be no oxtail left. The difference between um, my version of this oxtail and someone else's is that I'm gonna add curry to it and also coconut powder. So that's gonna be an additional thing that usually, traditionally, it's not done that way. What I do when I'm washing my oxtail, like I had a little uh, apple cider vinegar to just to wash off the extra, uh, I don't want it stuff off of it. So I'm gonna put my, my um, water. So all these extra um, red water, um, supposed to be um, washed off of it. So this is what I'm doing right now. So you're going to wash it about three times just to get off um, the extra red water. So I think this is it. Cutting my my herb and vegetable, so uh, I'm gonna use half of this onion. It's a big onion, so I'm gonna use half of it. So I'm gonna uh, put the other piece here. So I'm not gonna cut them too small because uh, I don't really want to dissolve in the pot. And these are the and all my fruits, all my vegetable and herb have been washed, so as you go. So that's why I'm cutting them. I pre-wash them. And I'm not cutting them in any uh, style, no particular size or shape. But, um, bell pepper. And I use half of a medium sized pickle. I just cut it in two. Um, I'm gonna start do my recipe. Each each show. Um, so um, uh, the recipe for this meal will be followed or paired with the actual video. ginger and usually I cut the ginger really small because as I said you don't want it to be too that chewable during the meal so Garlic 
don't necessarily have to be fine because it's dissolved. It's Italian. Some people call it green onion, but we generally call it Italian. like this and then the scotch bonnet pepper I'm not gonna cut it I'm just gonna put it okay so this is done um, for all my powdered seasoning I'm gonna place them in one container or two containers the curry and the turmeric in one and the rest of the powdered seasoning in the other and these are my measuring sp um, spoons this is one tablespoon and half a teaspoon. So if I need one teaspoon, I'm gonna use this twice. Okay, for my curry powder, I'm gonna use four tablespoons. So two, three, four. Okay, four tablespoon of curry powder. This is half a teaspoon. I'm gonna use for the turmeric, I'm gonna use one teaspoon. So I'm gonna use two of these. One. That's it for that. For the black pepper, I'm gonna use one tablespoon. Black pepper. One tablespoon of garlic powder. One tablespoon of seasoned salt. One tablespoon of jerk seasoning. Okay, so now we're gonna mix this together. This is four tablespoons of curry powder and two and one teaspoon of turmeric. Now I'm going to season my um my oxtail. I'm not going to put all of it in on the meat right now. So I'm just going to be put about maybe half of it. And then during the cooking process, then we're going to be adding um, more seasoning to it. So I'm going to leave this aside. Um, the garlic, not the garlic, the curry powder. I'm going to put a, just a little uh, teaspoon in it right now. But because I'm going to burn the curry um, as well as this to season it I'm going to put some of the, the vegetable and the herb part of it just like um, just like the dry powdered the powdered season I'm going to just put half of it in there and then during the process of cooking, we will add the rest of seasoning to it. So these are gonna stay for later. Now I'm gonna use my hand to rub it in. It's curry, but um, the 
for the lock so I'm gonna just go with it. Um, this can be after um, placing the season on it and whatever, it can be um, covered and, and placed in your fridge to be marinated overnight or for a couple of hours. Depends on the time that you have to do that. So now I'm gonna um, put this away for a couple of hours and then we'll be back to start the cooking process. This is it. This is the process of um, burning the curry before I put the oxtail in the pot to sear it a little. So I'm gonna just line the bottom or grease the bottom of the pot by using um, this is one tablespoon. cover it, make it kind of uh, do its own juice, water, and then take it from there. So I'm going to cover it for a couple minutes, like not a couple minutes, maybe about 10 minutes, and then get back. I'm not going to add any water to it yet because it can make its own water. So stay tuned. This is after 10 minutes and 
and um, uh, had a long way to go but you can see it's all curried up and um, ready to be take it so uh, like about an hour and 25 minutes to finish this for so um, I'm gonna add a little water maybe a glass of water or a cup of water one cup of water to it and let it slow cook and then I'll um, return and show you what it looks like and by then it's the season and the herbs are ready to be placed in it and also the coconut powder after one and a half hours this is what my upstate looks like it's not it's about 75 percent done so now i'm gonna put in i'm gonna place the two tablespoons of coconut powder so Put it in there. I also had a little bit more water into it uh, so that the, um, the vegetable can get to steam. This is my version of curry pack stick. It is awesome. Now I'm gonna give First, the pepper a little because I don't want it too hot. So, but look at this. And there's one thing left to go. My butter bean has his right now. Um, the butter bean can ha can be added, but it could have eaten this the way, or uh, it could be just completed the way it is right now. But. I'm gonna just add my butter bean to it. So this is one can of butter bean, and um, it is uh, 8.446 ounces. So I'm gonna just open it, pour the water half, and then put the bean in. That should be the final part of it. Here, pour the butter bean in. One can of butter bean. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more water to get to get everything soaked in there and it's um, and cooked and steamed. By adding pimento seeds and also the parsley flakes into it um, it's really tasty really good this is the final product of my version of curry at stale enjoy thank you for watching please like and share my video and don't forget to 
subscribe to my channel. See you soon.